Well, in about 24 <laughs> hours, the little ghouls and goblins will be uh, trick-or-treating. Seems like we've got something going on here, too. Kids right. will be loading up on all sorts of candy. <laughs> but there's one kind that is more dangerous, especially to little ones. News Force Natalie Clydesdale has the warning from paramedics. Well, according to EMSA, choking is the number one cause of death in children between the ages one and three, which is why they want to make sure all parents and caregivers know exactly what to do if their child chokes this Halloween. <coughs> this is life or death. Choking on Halloween candy could quickly turn a family's night of fun into a nightmare. This is a subject that's near and dear to me. I have three kids of my own. Every year, choking leads to more than 12,000 ER visits, according to paramedic Brett Smith. He warns hard candies are especially troublesome. The airways of children and infants are obviously smaller than that of an adult, so they can uh, become obstructed far easily than uh, an adult could. If an infant does choke, first call 911, then check their airway and position them like this. And we're going to give five back blows with the uh, palm of our hand. Support the head, turn the child over, and with two fingers on the breastbone, we're going to give five chest thrusts. For children one and older who are conscious, the Heimlich maneuver is best. And we're going to be moving inwards and upwards with a very violent thrust here. So just like so, in and up, in and up. Perform this multiple times. We can check our airway. If a child passes out, EMSA says to do chest compressions until paramedics get there. It's extremely important. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. You can find more detailed instructions on the Heimlich Maneuver at KFOR.com. So